What's up everybody? My name's Rob Simmons. Welcome to my channel. This is a reaction I've been wanting to do for a long time. Team Starkid Show, the guy who didn't like musicals. And this is going to be pretty different because unlike other shows I did from them in the past, like the Potter shows or Batman or Starship, which were divided into small parts, I'm going to do the whole show in one video, which is almost two hours long. So if you want to get snacks or use the restroom, feel free to pause. And I'll read the description real quick. Paul is an average guy. He likes movies and pizza and average guy things, but he does not like musicals, hence the title. But Paul's small world is about to come crashing down under the weight of unspeakable terror. Now he must run, run for his life as something sinister spreads and grows and sings and dances. And the town of Hatchetfield is plunged into a musical hell in the guy who didn't like musicals. Yeah, I've been kind of saving this for the spooky season, and I think this is the start of a trilogy, so there's two other shows after this, but one show at a time. I'll read the cast list real quick. Paul is played by John Matson, Emma Lauren Lopez, Ted Joey Richer, Charlotte Jamie Lynn Betty, Bill Corey Doris, Hitchens Robert Mannion, Alice slash Zoe, Mariah Zo Rose Faith, and Sam McNamara, Jeff Blim. If I mispronounce any of those words, or excuse me, names, I apologize. And for technical reason, I, reasons, I have to divide the show into four parts and edit them together when I'm filming them. So if you see a, 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 an abrupt cut like this, that's why. But since the show is pretty long, I want to get right to it. Can't wait to see what it has in store. Hope the volume's good. The greatest stories ever told. Here we go. Have a hero must be bold. They learn a sense of right and wrong. And then learn the sense through song. They're like zombies. Oh, she has a beautiful singing voice. So tonight we're gonna chronicle a story so astronomical. The last remaining story. Excellent harmony. That's Paul. <laughs> In the tiny town of Hatchetfield, there lived an awful prince named Paul. Spends his day surfing the web and not singing and dancing with a song. Should we kill him? Nice. Should we kill him? <laughs> Season. What an ass! What a bitch! What a cock! Oh yeah. The guy who didn't like musicals. Did like, 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 did like
What was that? Hope oh, we're all dancing with me. Is that him? <laughs> Excellent way to open the show. Hey, Paul. Yeah? I was trying to print something. I think I might have sent it to your printer. Yep, they're pretending yep. to be in an office. Classic star kid. They do that so well. Uh, just remember, uh, you want to print from the HP laser jet, not the HP inkjet. Right. Sorry, Paul. It's fine. It's easy hey, to get those Paul, two confused. Can I get those reports on my desk by the end of the day? Yes, Mr. Davidson. Great. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey, Melissa. Uh, were you going to sign up for the company softball league? No. Oh. Uh, well, it, it might be fun. Yeah. I don't want to, though. <laughs> okay. Why not? Well, uh, Mr. Davidson wants those reports on his desk by the end of the day. Will do. Is he introverted? Oh. That's actually a trick, a trick that receptionists do. Uh -huh. They cover the mouthpiece to enhance the oh. earpiece. Oh, well, but, but sweetheart, it's... Sweetheart, it, it's cuddle night. Cuddle night? <laughs> well, what do you mean, so what? The counselor says we should do it at least once a month. <laughs> yes, but, yes, but honey, we, we skipped last month. Well, don't you think I'm tired, too? All right, it, Maybe tomorrow night then, huh? No, 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 you're right. So she's having marital problems. Next month it is. All right, well, you take care, Sam. And Sam, be careful because I love you. Oh. Sam? We're off the bat. I already feel sorry for her. Poor girl. Oh, Sam. He's doing just fine. Thompson's working out real swell. <laughs> oh, oh uh, Sh Charlotte? Uh, I'm sorry, you can't smoke in here. Huh? Oh! I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's a fire hazard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get some coffee for beanies. Anyone wanna come? Bill? I can't. I gotta keep refreshing this web page. <laughs> See, I got Alice for one more night before she goes home to Clydesdale. Her mother, just to make me look small, took her all the way to New York to see Hamilton. Ugh. And she loved it. So, to prove to my ex-wife that two can play at that game, I'm on hot ticks right now. And the moment more become available, I'm getting two tickets for tonight. Because guess what, Paul? It's finally here at the old Starlight Theater in downtown Hatchetfield. The touring production of Mamma Mia! <laughs> <laughs> wow, she'll like that just as much as Hamilton. It's a musical! Mm -hmm. Hey, you wanna tag along? Alice will get a kick out of it. Remember when you used to babysit her, drive her to school? Yeah? She thinks you're cool. Maybe you could talk me up a bit. Let her know her old dad's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Bill? No. He doesn't like musicals. Sorry. You got other plans? Uh, no. So you, you'd rather do nothing than come with us to see Mamma Mia? Bill, I'd rather do anything than go see Mamma Mia. The idea of sitting there, trapped in a musical, that is my own personal hell. <laughs> I'm trying to reconnect with my teenage kid and you're just gonna leave me hanging? Yeah. Aww. Sorry. Uh, but hey! I'll grab you something from Beanie's. My treat. What do you want? I just want my daughter back. Oh. Have a nice caramel frap. Nothing better. Hey, you going to Beanie's? 
Yeah? You didn't invite me? Sorry, Ted, do you want to come? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to show you up. Yeah. What do you mean? Paul, come on. I know why you walked that extra block instead of just going to Starbucks across the street. I don't want to give my money to some corporate chain. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You sure it doesn't have anything to do with that cute little buddy stuff over there? Huh? That's not the reason. <laughs> yeah, the uh, latte hotte. She's uh, known throughout the land, right? No, it's like, my wife, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like four right, right, hey, Give me a chai iced tea, eh? Hey? Hey? Uh. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a grande caramel frap and a venti cup with ten pumps of hazelnut, three shots of espresso, no caramel drizzle with whip on top? Sure, that'll be five fifty. Fancy. Jesus, fine. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I just tipped you. Oh, well, thank you. Aren't you supposed to sing? The sense is tip for a song. <laughs> yeah, um, that's like a new thing. The owner went to Cold Stone Creamery over the weekend and brought back the whole singing thing. But, you know, there's a line and people are working. I don't want to disturb anyone. <laughs> I don't care. I just tipped you. Come on. Okay, well, did you do that to be nice or did you do it to be an asshole? Fine, I'll take it back then. Oh no, what am I gonna do without that dollar? I've just lived with five other people. You know what? I'm never coming back here again. That sign's bullshit. Oh my god, Aww. so mean. Yeah, he totally deserved that. Emma, what's the deal over here? <laughs> that guy just flipped out on me for practically no reason. She wouldn't sing for him. And I still haven't gotten my hot chocolate. Oh, sorry, I'll get right on that. I have very low blood sugar. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. We'll get you a voucher. Jesus, Emma, come on. I already warned you twice. It's embarrassing, Nora. I mean, God, maybe Zoe's okay with the whole singing thing because she majored in theater. I think it's a really fun idea, Nora. Why aren't you working? Oh, I'm on vocal rest? What? I'm on vocal rest? <laughs> yeah, she can't God sing. damn it, Emma. Now I need to make a tea with honey, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> Zoe, just do the singing. I don't like it. Oh, okay. So then you must not like having a job here then. Hmm? Oh, you know, boy. Just don't even bother showing up for your next shift. What? what? Are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I will do the singing. Yeah, you will. Now move your ass. You got a line. Yikes. I think this is going to become the girl who didn't like musicals. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah. I got an easy one for you. Just a cup of black coffee. Jesus, really? I've been brewing up oh, your no, 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 uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, no, uh, I don't need you to sing. I just tipped because, you know, uh, uh, people should tip. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, because if I have to sing for it, it's not really a tip, right? It's just like I have another shitty paying job on top of my already shitty paying job. Because, I mean, most of my tips are less than a buck. So after the split, I'm making like not even 25 cents a song. That is less than a fucking jukebox. Only a jukebox doesn't also have to make coffee for these assholes. Oh, not that you're an asshole. Well, maybe you are. What'd you tip? Five bucks. Generous. You meant this just for me, right? Like I don't have to split this with anyone. Oh no, that's for you. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. God, I'm just so sick of Nora and Zoe, who is technically my manager, even though she is 10 years younger than me. Ugh. She hired all of her little theater friends, and they will not shut the fuck up <laughs> about some <laughs> shitty production of Godspell they did last summer. Oh, that was the one in the rec center, right? I think I had to see that. Ugh. I did not like it. Yeah. It sucked, right? Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't call it God's spell, more like God awful. Yeah, we're like, God damn, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like musicals. Uh, watching people sing and dance makes me very uncomfortable. Oh. Well, then why did you come to the singing coffee shop? You know, there's a Starbucks across the street. Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, some things are worth it. Like, ah, damn good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I see you in here all the time, don't I? What's your name? Paul. Hi, Paul. I'm Emma. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I have been waiting a very long while. Sorry, sorry. 
Okay, uh, bye, Emma. I had a feeling those two would hit it off oh. well because neither of them like oh, musicals. Oh shit! I've got Bill's caramel frap. Ah, fuck Bill. <laughs> Hi, can I talk to you about saving the planet? No. Do you um do you have a few minutes to talk about saving the planet? Uh, hello. Hey. Hi. Are you interested in saving the planet? Uh, uh, yes I am, but I just got off work. Well, you know, I... it'll just take a few minutes. It's for the planet. So. Yeah. I just want to I... tell you about how you can contribute to Greenpeace's efforts all around the globe. Oh. Greenpeace? Yeah. You know what? I I'm actually already signed up with you guys. I already give. Oh, well, that's really generous of you. Do you know about our new campaign to save the sea turtles? Yeah. Yeah, I've been getting the emails, been reading all about it. Really? Yeah. Uh, the campaign that doesn't exist? The one that I just made up? Sneaky. You don't give to Greenpeace, do you? You know that money you're raising? You know how much of it actually goes to the turtles? Well, none of it. I just made that up. You hear the rain in the background? It goes to line the pockets of some corporate bigwigs. I give my money directly to the people who need it. Oh, spare change for the homeless? Sorry, I don't have anything. <laughs> wow, you're a real humanitarian. And you come on a little strong with that whole save the planet bit. As if I'm going to do that single-handedly. Well, you know what? Whoa. What is... Fuck Sam. <laughs> Come back to bed, all right? All right, Ted, but this has to be the last time. Sure, Charlotte, just like last time was the last time. She was you Paul's like co-worker. Here, there's the door. Oh, God, cherry on top of an already perfect day. Zoe, you need a ride? In your shitty car? Yeah, I'd rather not crash and die. It's fine, thank Great. you. Excuse me, ma'am, but I got a warrant to inspect the junk in your trunk. Ugh, Sam, you're such an asshole, okay? That uniform is so fucking sexy. <laughs> hey, um, I have a little present for you. These two tickets to Mamma Mia. No way, you got them? I never miss a musical with the starlight, and if anyone thinks that makes me less of a man, they can talk to my fucking god. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, it's raining cats and dogs. Are you sure you don't want me to pick you up? Okay. Yes, I got a ticket for death, and after the show, we're gonna go to your favorite restaurant, Red Lobster. Yeah, Rock I know that's been... vegetarian. They got fish. <laughs> Vegan? Uh, it's crab fest, Alice. You're killing me. Take a hit. She doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, okay? Oh, come on, Deb, that's not how it works. You're either in the smoke club or you're out. <laughs> okay, well then maybe we're You know so fast, Joey's changing come outfits. On, Alice, these guys are assholes anyway. Oh. Well, why do I have a feeling that this is not an actual storm? I knew it. This is the morning Hatchetfield News with Dan and Donna. They said he wouldn't make it, that he had fallen from too great a height. But this little guy beat the odds and captured our hearts. Now weighing in at almost 10 ounces, peanuts. The Hatchetfield pocket squirrel has outgrown his adopted father's pocket. Peanuts! Luckily, <laughs> Proud Papa Ed has been squirreling away on his GoFundMe page to build Peanuts his very own, get this Dan, squirrel house. <laughs> That's amazing. And something else has fallen to the ground here in Hatchet Field, this time from outer space. The meteor came... <laughs> 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 hey, did you see? Oh, you again. Look, I'm not a bad guy, okay? I've given to charity in the past. Hey, yeah, it's a typical day. Here we go. Got me feeling in a beautiful way. No rhyme or reason. We can sing a duet. 
Oh, her voice is beautiful. Just a smile will do. Sometimes I just want to shout and talk. I'm cruising mountaintops. All the world is paved in gold. I'll see you with this too. Yesterday was retroactive. Got myself a new perspective. Two questions. Were we exactly in Hatchet Fields, Paul's home, or somewhere else? And is this a dream or reality in the show? Excellent harmony. What the fuck was that? Sorry, man, I don't have anything. Hey, man, that's all right. Because I may not have a home. It's way okay. Because I prefer to roam the streets all day. Yeah, this has got to be a dream because he's already encountering these characters. But I could be told, I could be wrong. <laughs> Whoa. I just love the energy of what's going on right here. Wow. That was excellent. The audience has the right idea. Lights down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I think he's about to have an epiphany. Of course, that'd be kind of early in the show to have that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I, I get that Alice is 18. She's a senior, she's got her own life, but I only get my daughter for one week a month, and she wants to spend that whole time with her girlfriend, Deb. So I say, Bring Deb along. We'll all go see the show. And would you believe it? We get there, and the whole theater was exploded by a goddamn meteor. Mamma mia! <laughs> Huge hole right through the marquee and everything. I, can you believe that, Charlotte? Sh 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 Charlotte, you, you, you got enough coffee and the sugar? Huh? Oh, I didn't even realize. Sorry, I'll make another pot. Coffee and the sugar. <laughs> Billy, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and the okay. sugar. Okay. Okay. Hey guys. Uh, is today some kind of, uh, I don't know, Canadian holiday or something? Like, uh, <laughs> International Music Day or. Not that I know of. Because okay. I just, um, I just saw some people. Uh, uh, dancing and, and singing. Yeah, not a like dream. A Reality. Musical. There was this homeless guy and this very rude woman from Greenpeace doing this whole choreographed number. Like a flash mob? Yeah. I mean, what else could it have been, right? Well, did you get a video of it? 
No. <laughs> You're fucking useless, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I, I just have a bad feeling about all this. Uh, Charlotte? Huh? Have you noticed anything strange? What? No. Oh, it's silly. Um, it, it's just, um, it's Sam. What? My husband. Um, he said he was coming home late last night. <laughs> he didn't get home at all. Oh. I heard I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, he must have rolled in around him six this morning. He was in the shower when I woke up. I could hear him. He was singing. And well, I know this is a strange thing to realize because well, but Sam's not a, a, a bad singer. He's just always been a little flat. <laughs> but not this morning. Today, he sounded like an angel. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it frightened me. It just, it didn't sound like my Sam. Oh, I must sound silly. I'm probably just imagining things. Charlotte, Aww. do you remember what Sam was singing? Um, it, it was just a, a silly little song and, and something like a... <clears throat> La, di, da, da, day. Paul, Mr. Davidson wants to see you in his office. The same oh, song that Paul listened to earlier. Yesterday, I'm gonna get it. Oh. Or from the flash mob, excuse me. Wait. Could this have something to do with the meteor? Hey, Mr. Davidson. I think I know why you called me in here today. My weekly reports were not turned in yesterday. Not because they're not done. They are done. There's a problem with the printer network, you see. You try to print something over here, it gets sent over there. I bet my report is sitting in someone else's printer tray right now. You give me to the end of the day, I can find it. <laughs> not do it. Uh, I, I wouldn't just not do my statistical analysis. <laughs> that would really gum things up here in the office, and that's the last thing I want. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Paul? Another character with the Excuse personality me? change. Tell me what you desire to see. I have a strong Davis feeling that the is going to be a major plot point in the show. <laughs> what do you see for this and I thought his boss was going to berate Paul for that report, but obviously not. The opposite. Someone to share with precise precision their thoughts. Because I want you to want. To want. So what do you want, Paul? What's that one concrete goal that motivates all your actions? I don't think I have one of those. Well, then how's anyone supposed to sympathize with you, Paul? I don't know. I want money. I want you to want, Paul. A man so vague just can't be trusted. Something you pine Another for. excellent music number. Mr. Davidson? Maybe someone who keeps you lusted. I'm just a boss. I'm not an idea guy. I hire you, Paul, to keep our stock high. But if you can't pin He <laughs> doesn't like musicals, and it's well, becoming a musical. <laughs> okay, I've waited for so long to tell somebody else. Carol, my wife, you're my muse, my source of light. Carol, my love. <laughs> Want you to choke me out at night. Uh, oh, jeez. This seems like a private moment. I want you to choke me. Like, who is this for? I want you to choke me while I jerk off. I want you to choke me while I jerk off. <laughs> Melissa, get my wife on the phone for me. Mr. Davidson, I think I should leave. No, Paul, I want you to hear this. If you leave, you're fine. <laughs> this Carol. is gonna be awkward for Paul. Yes, everything's fine, I promise. I just uh, <laughs> wanted to tell you something. I, uh. Mm. <laughs> I, uh. Whoa. I forgot what it was. <laughs> I didn't Oh, now you know what it is to 
so much. <laughs> I wanna go home. He consumes a man with a passion to drive the primary plot. So take up yoga or improv classes, volunteer at shelters or twitch to the masses. There's gotta be something that'll keep my hands off you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, I'd be freaked okay. out too. All right, this isn't happening. Get a grip, Paul. You're hallucinating. Better yet, you're still dreaming. You need to wake up. You need some coffee, that's it. Just a nice <laughs> cup of black coffee. Nothing in it, no cream, no sugar, just black coffee. Sorry about the sunbeam right here. Also, if you hear a humming, it's my Hello? fan. It's blowing no! my camera, so it doesn't Please overheat. God, I just want a black coffee! Black coffee, I'm your coffee guy. No! Jimmy without the tip. No! Not you two, Emma! Please, God, stop singing! Okay, okay, I'll stop. Oh, I didn't forget. You're the guy who doesn't like musicals, Paul, right? Emma, you're talking to me. Like a normal person. Uh, yeah, and if my boss catches me, I'll get canned. Uh, new company policy. Not only do we have to sing when people tip, but when they enter, when they order, all the time, apparently. Emma, I think there's something terribly wrong with the world today. Yeah, fucking tell me about it. <laughs> I spent the entire morning learning some dumbass new tip song. I'm exhausted. <sighs> Emma? 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 <laughs> I feel like there's something sinister infecting Hatchetfield. And I know this is going to sound crazy and not very scary, but it is scary <laughs> if you think about the implications. <laughs> promise me you'll think about the implications. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay. Emma, I think the world is becoming a musical. Um, Don't say I anything. Let it sink in. Okay. Okay. Now, are you frightened? Uh, yeah, I think I am starting to get a little frightened. Yeah, I should be. Emma! Tim! Oh, thank God. Sorry, Paul. I gotta do this dumbass tip song. Oh, sorry. Oh, boy. Get your cup of roasted coffee. Oh, beautiful Pour harmony. A cup of we'll make a jam and cup of java mocha latte with the froth for you, Jack. Frappuccino with the freshly roasted mung beans. It's a caramel drizzle mud in a cup. With a drip, 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 drip. And we'll bring it right up. Hey, Mr. Business, how do you do? Can we get a triple for you? Decaf? What? Decaf? What? <laughs> Did it? <laughs> Imagine seeing this in a coffee shop. <laughs> There's more? Nora. Hey! Hey! This would definitely go viral on YouTube. If a coffee shop what actually did it. A whole other A section? <laughs> what did you learn that? You know what? When I got this job, I signed up to serve coffee and cold, shitty pastries. If I wanted <laughs> to be in a musical, I'd be in a damn musical. Yeah. That's right, Zoe. I was in Bregadoon in high school and I fucking killed it. <laughs> but now, I'm just trying to make ends meet while I work my way through community college, and I can do that 
just as easily <laughs> down the street at Starbucks. I quit. You, you can't, can't quit, quit, Emma. Yeah, I sure as hell can. <laughs> the song is so simple. We'll teach it to you. Why, everyone here will be singing it soon. Oh, what boy. What are you talking about? They all have their coffee. Their apotheosis will be upon them. Oh, again. no. Wait, what did you do to their coffee? They drugged the customers. Fucking gross. What? Why is that? Get your cup of poison coffee. What is this? What is this? Toxic. Oh, man. Oh, man. So maybe they're the source of the musical pieces in Hatchetfield now. Emma, they're here. We'll find out. They're here, Emma. What? They're no, here, yeah. it's too narrow. No, trust me. I, <laughs> I used to live right here. It's a, an alleyway near where I used to live. It's, it's nobody yes. will follow us here. Who, whose decision was it to line an alleyway with tons of shrubs? No. <laughs> I heard it was like, at one point they were going to make it into a park. And, what? Yeah, they, they were going to make it into Listen, a park and they just stopped. Oh. There are a lot of dead ends around here. I just want to make sure you, you know where you're going. No, yeah, so... Are you... There's a dead end here, okay. so... Uh, I'm sorry, just go the other way again. All right, fine, fine, fine. So, uh... This is a great way to get the audience involved. Oh, uh, uh, what do you like? Do you like film? But yeah, you know what, that is, it like... is a bad time. Okay. Wait! Paul. Oh, wait, an alley. How yeah, did I miss that? The, the, the trash cans. Okay. Go. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what the fuck was that? I told you it was scarier than it sounds. You were right. I didn't think about the implications. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think about it! Emma, 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 shh. It's alright, okay? No! Ah! It's Whoa. not alright, Paul! Bill! You scared the shit out of us. Well, how the hell am I supposed to pop out of a trash can and not scare the shit out of you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's give us her a only two. Something next time, you know? Ah! <laughs> Charlotte. Sorry, I tried to warn you. Oh my god! Who are these people? They're my friends from work. What are they doing in the trash? Well, we had to find a place to hide. Mr. Davidson's kept calling people into his office and they kept coming out singing. Yeah, it was the same at the bank, the butchers, and the post office. It's all downtown. We were just at Beanie's. Ah! Whoa! Oh, they didn't invite me! Jesus, Ted! <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Shut the fuck up, Paul! All right? If you want to stay in our hiding spot, you gotta be quiet. All right, there is something going on, and we don't know what it is or who we can trust. So, Paul, get in a trash can. You. That's gross. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> no, Emma stays with us. I don't know her. Yeah, you do. She's the. She's the barista from Beanie's. The, you know, the, the, the latte hotte. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, oh, that is not the latte hotte. That's the crabby one who won't <laughs> sing when I tip her. You grabbed the wrong one, you noodle. Fuck. <laughs> oh, thank God. They're here. I called Sam. He'll get us out of this. Sam, sweetheart. Sam, baby. Well, he did bring the right three step because I think there's something going on between them romantically. You to take a step back. Huh? You're facing the law, not the clerk at the get -F. Yeah, we're cops. Even the cops are saying. Yeah, we're cops. You better shape on up. Get away from Charlotte. He's one of them. Oh. You better empty out all of them pockets. But don't empty out all of them pockets. Yeah, we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. And we make sense. <laughs> Show me your hands. Show me those jazz hands. Get them up or you'll end up in cops. Show me those hands. Show me those jazz hands, or I might be a jazz man. Hope you're doing jazz hands too. Hey, look in my IDs in my back pocket. Give them 40 in a 35. Take your mirror, you'll find hell has arrived. Cause we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. We're up in your shit. <laughs> Kathy lost her cat in a tree. Contact five, not the HFPDE. Cause we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. Her cat is. <laughs> Show me your hands! Show me those 
Another beautiful harmony. Show me those hands, show me those jazz hands. I'm like being Step away from the vehicle. Step away from the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. Slowly get out of the vehicle. Slowly get out of the vehicle. Do the things I say. I'm a cop. Get those hands up. Get those hands up. Let me just expose you real quick. There we go. I'm a cop. 911 emergency call. Got a 411 in a shopping mall. Better pack your heat utility bill. Any more rats coming in hotly mail. Sergeant DeWipe on the 911. One of these one size. She's what's up. Grab your 9mm and sell enough. Fuck it for my badge now. Put your mouth in. Shut it. Sam, sweetheart, I'm your wife. Sam, baby, just talk to me. Show me your hands. Show me those hands. For a I thought he was he's gonna shoot her. Show me those hands. Show me those hands. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my god! His head is open! Oh, I have to do something! Oh, oh, oh my god! His brain fell out! Ew! Put it back then! Oh, I don't know how I'm not a doctor! Charlotte, look at that! That's not his brain! It's blue! Well, how do you know? You're not a doctor either! Uh, he needs to see a doctor! He needs to get I'm not a doctor. I can tell a blue brain's not normal. Let me adjust it again. I'm Charlotte. Yes, okay, listen. We have to get out of downtown, okay? Downtown is fucked. The hospital is downtown. We can't go there. But he needs to see a doctor. He needs to see a doctor. So we're gonna get um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know where we can go. I have this, like, kooky, reclusive biology professor. Professor Higgins! Yes, I'm his favorite student because I brought him groceries once. Anyway, um, <laughs> he has a doctorate. That's kind of like a doctor, right? Yep, he could it is a doctor. Husband, probably. Um, and he's got like a lab in his house and his security. His whole house is like a panic room. He's like a, um, what do you call a guy that lives in a fortress? A king. No. <laughs> no. He's like a, um, a doomsday survivalist. Yes, he thinks the world is ending. He's been preparing for the last 20 years for the apocalypse. The apocalypse? Is that what this is? Maybe we should go to a church. No, 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 Charlotte. We are all from different denominations, all right? We cannot split up. I'm a Presbyterian. I'm not going to die in your dirty ass Methodist church, all right? <laughs> I say we go to the panic room and we beg for the king's help. Charlotte? Yep, that's your best I think bet. The best thing for all of us, including Sam, would be to get to the professor. Yeah, well, let's go now. We can take the squad car. Uh, help me with him. I don't need to see him. Thank you. <laughs> this is Hatchetfield Action News with Dan and Donna. What began as a series of isolated incidents has escalated into what some are calling a musical riot. Good God! It's spreading faster than I theorized. Despite several reports of violence, yep, the he's the mastermind. I could tell already. Channel Nine that there is no cause for alarm. Because they're part of it, Donna. Nevertheless, our skittish neighbors in Clivesdale have raised the Nantucket Bridge. With the ferries down for the season and no accessible means off the island, Hatchetfield citizens are advised to stay indoors. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> of course, the outside world is no help. It's up to us now, Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> oh, he's your professor. Who is it? Professor Hitchens. Don't lie to me, whoever you are. I'm Professor Hitchens. <laughs> <laughs> no, Professor, it's me, Emma Perkins. The whole town has gone crazy. I didn't know where else to go. Emma. You've come to the right place. Hold on, I'll let you in. Alexa, open the gates. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Professor. Thank you. Oh, these are my friends. This is Paul and them. Uh, <laughs> we came from downtown. Now listen, this is going to sound crazy, but everyone... Singing! 
and dancing like a musical. They want you to join them, and once they get you, you're a part of it. Uh, yeah, how did you know? I theorized this exact scenario 30 years ago. <laughs> really? Really. Like exactly this? Exactly. That the world would become a musical. You'd better believe it. <laughs> Wait, so, so that's what's wrong with Sam? Good God, don't tell me you brought one of them here. Whoa! Whoa. You left him in the alley. No, monster Ted. No, he's a monster. All right, everybody, oh. calm down. <laughs> yep, he's infected. Uh, has brought him to me. Quickly, cuff him to the chair. Make sure he's secure. There's no telling what would happen if he were awake and loose. I've been preparing for this day for decades. Now all of the answers are right in front of me. If only I have the wits to decipher them. All right. Oh. Ooh. Oh. He's doing that with bare hands. Emma, tell me, Emma. What on earth does that look like to you? God, um, I don't know, some kind of blue shit? <laughs> <laughs> blue brain exactly, matter? Actually, Emma! What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what on earth it looks like. Nothing. You all remember that meteor that crashed into the Starlight Theater last night? I, I had a feeling. It carried a deadly cargo, a contagious pathogen. Of cosmic origin. Wait a second, Doctor. I had a feeling you, the media, had something to do with aliens? this. Why is that so hard to believe? Think of all that we take for granted now that was once foretold in the pages of Bradbury and Asimov. Look no further than my robot assistant, Alexa. Once <laughs> confined to the realm of science fiction, she is now science fact. Alexa. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> Twenty years ago, I would have had to walk all the way to the dimmer. <laughs> now, as unbelievable as this or the outbreak may seem, the question is no longer can this be happening, but how do we stop it? I've got to get this blue shit beneath a microscope to find out what makes these bastards tick. Uh, sorry, Professor. This is a lot to take in. Uh, do you have anything to take the edge off? Like, drink or something? Booze. Young man, for the past 27 years, I have been stockpiling the bare essentials needed for human survival in the event of a world-ending cataclysm. You bet your ass we got booze. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Charlotte. I'll make you a drink. We can relax, talk, fuck. Oh, jeez. Ted, I can't believe you're thinking about that at a time like this. The whole world could be coming to an end. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out doing the thing I love. Screwing around with another man's wife. Oh, jeez. You're such a horny bastard. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> always have been, always will be. And you know that's why I can't resist you. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My husband's brains fell out today. If I can be a wife to him now, what kind of woman am I? I don't know, Charlotte. I'm not your therapist. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go back to fucking him. Hmm? I know that's why you actually went to counseling. I mean, that's not the only reason. I wanted to make things work with Sam. I love him. I know I shouldn't, but I do. No, Charlotte, this guy is a scumbag, all right? You could upgrade to a sleazeball. <laughs> <laughs> but you refuse to be happy. You know what, Charlotte? I'm done, all right? So you could stay here with your dying marriage and your dying husband. I'm gonna go hit on that crabby barista. Wait, no! Ted! Wait! Oh, God! I keep thinking that oh, Sam's gonna wake God. up and freak everyone out. God, if you're up there and you can hear me, it's me, 
Charlotte, look, you just gotta know it. I didn't want any of this to happen. I, I love Sam, and I, I know we've had our problems, and I know I've been so angry with him lately, but, but I didn't want him to die. Oh, please, God, just, just let him wake up. Just let him wake up. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Charlotte. <laughs> oh, 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 Sam? Where am I? Why am I tied to a chair? Um, it's for your own safety, Sam, and ours. You're not well, Sam. Charlotte, baby, I'm hurt real bad. Um, I need a doctor. Uh, uh, I'll go get the professor. <laughs> no! <laughs> they left me here to die. Only you can help me, Charlotte. Untie me, and we'll leave here together. I'm tired of Charlotte. Please don't do that. I'm tired of no. with you. You understand me. Now hand me those keys. No. The keys to our youth. <laughs> God, we were young once. Innocent and fun once. And free. Let go of this grip on me. You tied up my heart. You tied me down. <laughs> now break me open with your love and mercy. You're there to pull your dancing. Charlotte, <laughs> you're breaking my heart, child. Got my feet to the fire. Just let me go. And I love you. I love you too, Sam, but I cannot let you go. Charlotte, baby, <laughs> apple of my eye, don't you twist me? I effed up, Charlotte, effed up with you. All the booze and harlots, and all the Charlottes, but they didn't count. They couldn't break me, you're the one who caged me. In chains, please take away my pain, Charlotte. Let me hold you again, Shy. Just free of my arms and I'll give you a foot massage, Charlotte. Will you ever forgive me? I'll crawl on my hands and knees if you untie me, girl. It certainly is. <laughs> the other characters are gonna freak out when they see this. This body is not gonna last. The air is cold and thick. I'm losing my last remaining hope for us. My hands are tied in knots and I can't come home. Die in your arms in the evening alone. What? Sam? What have I done? Aww. Is he dead for good this time? What have I done? Whoa! You brought me back to the dead child. My life Whoa! What? Oh my! Oh! Okay, those intestines. I know they were fake, but that was a little much for me. Oh! <sighs> he said this was a full bar. How the hell am I supposed to make a Shirley Temple without any cherries? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Use grapes? 
It's the end of the world, and you're gonna get your drink on with a Shirley fucking temple? <laughs> well, if it's as serious as all that, I figured we might need a designated driver. Okay, so when the cops pull you over, you can pass their breathalyzer test before they infect you with their nasty blue shit? Come on! <laughs> if you make one more crack at me, I am gonna... do something to you! Do what? Yeah, Bill, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick your head. <laughs> oh, my head. Yeah, not my ass. <laughs> I was thinking yeah. that too. All right, then let's see it. It's getting a little huh? dark again. Kick my head. Come on, karate champ. I want to see you kick above your waist. All right, Try that roundhouse. <laughs> Show me that sweeping crane kick that your kung fu master taught you. Okay, you two, calm down. Ted, Bill's not gonna kick your head. Why not? It's the most vulnerable part of the body. That's what Sensei Bill taught me. Okay, it was a dumb <laughs> threat. Stop rubbing it in. I'm sure if he could do it over again, he'd say ass. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know, if you want to kill a snake, what do you do, huh? You cut off its head. Where is the fish rot from? The head. Take out the head, and the whole thing goes down. That's why a fisherman always goes for... The head! Whoa. Now, come on, Bill, come on! <laughs> Give me that. <sighs> This is supposed to relax us, not make us kill each other. Whatever. Uh, why did I come back here? To, uh, drink? <laughs> back to Hatchetfield. I spent the first 18 years of my life trying to get out of this place. Should have just stayed in Guatemala. I mean, yeah, they've got volcanoes and kudamundis everywhere, but at What's least... What's a kudamundi? Oh, it's like a little raccoon thing. Now they get into shit, people hate them. But, at least they don't sing and dance. So is that what drove you back to Hatchet Field? Kudamundis? <laughs> up in your shit? No, no. It was uh, my sister, Jane. She was the good one. Yeah, she had this... Um, Lisa Frank binder when she was little where she mapped out her entire life and I swear to God she stuck to it bullet point by bullet point it was like job husband house kids and you know when one sister is so on top of her game it kind of demands that the other one be a total fuck up right what is yin without yang I think that's, that's really unfair yeah man she was off doing life and I was doing something else uh, backpacking mostly and she would call me and you know invite me home for the big events you know like weddings baby showers and I'd always say oh sorry I'll catch the next one but um then when I got the invitation to her funeral I was like oh there won't be a next one oh no oh. I'm sorry hey wow. you didn't crash into her car Anyway, uh, That's it's so weird sad. growing up in someone else's shadow because then when they're gone, the light shines on your life for the first time and it does not look good. So there I was, 30 with no roots anywhere except Hatchet Field. So I thought, well, I'll, I'm gonna make something of myself, you know, and do something my sister would be proud of. Enroll in community college, study botany. I'm gonna start a pot farm. <laughs> oh. Great way to break the tension Can right your there. Smoke a lot of pot? No. But weed's the future. It's gonna be legal nationwide soon. Bet you any money. <laughs> Not that it matters anymore. Man. My whole life, my one goal was to avoid dying in Hatchetfield. And here we are. Hey. It could be worse. You could be dying in Clivesdale. Fuck Clivesdale. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, all things considered, I like Hatchetfield. Mm. Yeah, I've been here my whole life. Born and bred. Never wanted to leave. Still don't. Hey, we're the same age. How come I never knew you in high school? You probably went to Hatchetfield High. I went to Sycamore. Fuck 
fucking Timberwolves. We hated you guys. We hated ourselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, back at Beanie's, you said you were in your high school production of Brigadoon. I, I was Bonnie Jean. Yeah, that was 2003, right? Mm. I actually saw you in Brigadoon. No shit. Really? Yes, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't have a theater program at our school, so I guess to make us feel like crap, they bust us over to watch your show. It was the first musical I ever saw. Hmm. I hated it. <laughs> That's probably the start of my whole thing. You're the reason I don't like musicals. <laughs> Whoa, that's like your origin story. Yeah. So I guess I'm the supervillain. I don't think of you like that at all, Emma. <sighs> Listen, um, Paul. Whoa! Startled again. It is time to die! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but we got bones to pop. The time for chaos is long past over. Death is in do you see your shirt moving? Now they're both infected. Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah. He's got it all right. You killed Charlotte. Wrong. You shot her. I shot a charlatan. <laughs> 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 the Charlotte you knew and loved was gone the minute a note came out of her mouth. After examining that blue shit, it didn't take long for me to decipher that Sam was no longer human, but part of the alien brew genetically reconstructed from the inside out. They're wearing our skin to fool us. Which means any one of you could be one of them. Oh boy. So we're gonna have a little test to see who's still human and who's a musical <clears throat> double guy. Uh, I want you all to sing 16 bars right now. No, professor. Professor, we're not. What if you don't know the song? Sing the beginning of Moana. What? what? Moana. <laughs> I said sing the beginning of Moana. Make way, make way. Moana, Consider make the way. coconut. <laughs> Consider the tree. I don't think the song's in the movie. <laughs> Yep, they're still human. All right. That was terrible. <laughs> Not a single one of you were on pitch, which means you're still human. These things, their, their tactic is to hide amongst us, and as their numbers grow, they become more bold, and as we've seen, violent. Wait, but is there a cure? Turn him back into a human before it's too late. Alice. Oh, thank God. I've never been more happy in my life. Your mother left me and moved you to Clivesdale. <laughs> what? No, no. Oh, no. Alice, I saw you get on the bus to Clivesdale this morning. What? Got, got off to go see Deb. God damn it, Alice. If Deb jumped off a bridge, would you? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. 
what, what, what's wrong with Deb? She's doing what? Is she Alice? sinning? Okay, listen to me. You get away from her. You understand? You get far away. No, this has nothing to do with me not liking Deb. Right now, you need to run and hide. Okay? <laughs> Where are you? No, no, you stay there. I'm coming to you. Yep, Deb's infected. No, no, don't, don't you say. Everything's going to be fine. I love you too. I really hope they save Alice in the show. Give me, give me some bread and some water. I knew we were going to need a designated driver. What's happening, Bill? <laughs> it's Alice. She's stuck in Hatchetfield. Dang it, I need to take the car. She's in Hatchetfield High. She's locked herself in the choir room. And you're going to save her? G.I. Bill? G.I. Bill. You're gonna run and gun your way through a city of singing zombie motherfuckers. Wake up, Bill. She's already dead. Don't you dare You're going to get there. There's still hope. She's going to be dead, and you're going to die, too. And that's exactly what's going to happen if you try to go back through downtown. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Don't go through downtown. Cut through Pinebrook. What? Pinebrook. Rich neighborhood, fancy houses, huge yards. Yes. Avoid densely populated areas. Now take Evergreen, cut through the park, hop a curb, and you're in the teacher's parking lot. Right. Yes. And the window to the staff lounge is always open so they can smoke. Just slide in and out. It used to be my own escape room. Okay, okay, this is a lot of directions. Don't bother. He's going to get lost. You are such a fucking creep. You know that? Oh, I'm a fucking creep? Yeah. I'm a fucking creep. Listen, sweetheart, the world has changed, all right? There are no creeps. There are no heroes. There are only people who are alive and people who are fucking dead! And Bill's daughter? She's dead. Don't say that. Well, I'm only saying what we all know is true, right, Paul? I go out and save her. I take that chance. Would you? I know that the chances are slim to nil. And I know that Bill doesn't know the shortcut. Bill, if you go, you're not going to make it. Which is why I'm going to go with you to get your daughter back. There you go, Paul. You, you do that for me, Paul? Strength in hey, numbers. It's not like you're asking me to go see Mamma Mia. <laughs> Well, hey, let's go. If we haul ass, we can be there and back in 20 minutes. No, Emma, you stay here. I have a theory on how these aliens can be stopped, but I'll need an extra pair of hands in the lab. Paul, Bill, Godspeed. Um, hey, Paul. Listen. If those things get you, they're gonna make you sing and dance and all that shit you hate. So don't you let them. Emma, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to draw a line in the sand. And I will never be in a fucking musical. <laughs> Hence, the guy who didn't like musicals. You go, Paul. I really hope they save Alice. I'm Find guessing they're at the school will, now. But you're gonna have to shut up, all right? I kind of wish they showed their drive from things. the lair to the school. You screaming is gonna get us killed. And then who's gonna save Alice? Right, right. Sorry, Paul. It's just... It's just all I have. I know. Just, just try to stay calm and follow me, okay? You know, she's a good kid, Paul. She's smart, and I respect her choices. But if we're being honest... I don't like Deb. She's just, she's always on her phone, and I don't know, I just think Alice can do better. Yeah, sure, this, Bill. This morning, the knucklehead that I am, I said, why don't you try dating someone at your own high school, in Clivesdale? And she said, you just don't like Deb. And what was I supposed to do, lie? So I said, why don't you try dating someone like Grace Chastity? And she goes, no, Grace Chastity is a nerdy prude. And I said, one. <laughs> I said date someone like her too. That is not a very nice thing to say. And suddenly, I'm defending Grace Chastity of all people. And she says, you just want Grace Chastity to be your daughter. And I say, well, at least she's nice to me at church. 
<laughs> and I think that fight is why she got off the bus to go see Deb. Aww. Paul, I'm the reason they trapped her. It's my fault. No. Don't focus You're on that. The bill, okay? Focus this on rescuing is not her. Your fault. Yes, it is. Oh Alice, boy. It's all your fault. That's the last thought I had before they broke down the door. I'm not your girl anymore. Oh no, is she infected? Not that tween that you drove here for. I'm not your girl anymore. I overtook her body with an infectious spore. Oh no, she's infected. You left me out of your sight for one second and look what happens. Nightmare time. It's worse than you could imagine. Not sex and not drugs. Just alien invading minds. No more family vacays together because you're only daughters under the weather. Oh, excellent solo. I'm not your ACT. I was like, I'm here to take you home. I, I... No matter what you believe, the apple's fallen far from the tree. It's not my fault anymore. No more curfews to be laid for. It's not my fault anymore. No more being worried and waiting by the door. You know that I wanted to live with you. Oh, 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 oh. And when you needed to fight, you gave her that too. Oh, oh. I know I said this before, but she can sing. Really sing. Love that beat. Bill, we need to leave right now. Back off, Paul. We're not leaving Whoa. without Alice. That's not your daughter, Alice. Bill. But hopefully the scientists figure out his cure. Right away to stop the aliens. Why am I in pain? Why does it hurt to know you? You let me down again. If I turned my insides out, would you even know that I was there? Not your girl anymore. Aww. I can't do it, Paul. I can't live in a world without my daughter. Then don't. No. Don't pull the trigger. I can't live knowing I'm the reason they got to her. No, 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 don't, no, don't, do, don't do, it. do it. Please oh, don't no, do it. Don't do it. I think there's still hope. I no. think they can save his daughter. Bill. Look at me. You're my best friend. I'm not gonna let you die. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh god, no! We just keep running into each other, don't we, Paul? We have traveled across seas of stars, founding Bangering. Wait, what are we saying? We all have to say the same thing. Let's get on the same page. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Bending countless civilizations to our will, yet you, Paul, have defied us thrice. Whoa! This puny human weapon is too quick a death for you, Paul. We shall rend you limb from limb. You will chuck. You will die. 
seriously. We all need to say the same thing. You guys are embarrassing me. You shall choke on your agony as you beg for apotheosis. Whoa. Yep, soldiers save the day. Yeah. Wait, 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 I, I'm not one of them. I'm human. I'm Ooh. <laughs> I have to say, no three speaking in harmony. That was priceless. Remarkable. Simply remarkable. Tommy, Emma, how do you explain an entire race of beings spontaneously bursting into song and dance? How do they all know the lyrics, the, the choreography? I... I don't know. They're, They're all super intelligent. The mothership. You're not far off. What we're dealing with here is a collective consciousness. On yep, one level, a hive they mind. are individuals, but on another, they are all appendages of a much larger organism, all connected by a central brain. And the brain came down in the meteor. Or it is the meteor. <laughs> um, okay, and so it wants to kill us all so it can resurrect us as part of its shitty musical? That's one way of putting it. You could also say it's uniting us in one common purpose. Think, Emma, if this entity were to spread to the entire planet, why? It could achieve what over 50,000 years of human civilization never could. World peace. Whoa. Okay, but how do we stop it? Yes. Of course. Stop it. <laughs> um, all right, all right. So this all started with the meteor. It is the brain. So if we take it out, will all these things just die? That's a sound theory, Emma. Which is why it must never leave this room. What? No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you do that? <laughs> why do I have a feeling that the scientist has something up his sleeve? You know the Sorry, aliens could have their own spin-off show. Be careful. What's your name? Uh, Paul. Matthews. Good evening, Paul. My name's General John McNamara of the United States Military Special Unit PEIP. We call it PEEP. <laughs> PEEP? I've never heard of you guys. And you never will. Not a PEEP. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, son. We have the uh, unenviable task of cleaning up messes of a certain nature. Situations not unlike what we have here in Hatchetfield. Are you saying stuff like this has happened before? I said nothing of the sort. That information's classified. <laughs> However, our agents led us to believe the entire population had become infected with this alien contagion. So, quite frankly, we're all a little shocked to find a survivor like yourself. <laughs> but I got some bad news for you, Paul. My unit was sent to make a clean sweep of what was once your down. No loose ends, no survivors. Whoa, so you're just going to kill me? Whoa, no whoa, survivors. whoa. Yes, two in the head, one in the heart. But there's one thing you better hurry up and know about me, Paul. I love my country, I do. But the experiences I've accrued throughout my tenure with this organization have given me a deeper understanding of the cosmos and their place in it. I follow a higher law than any institution could decree, and that is the universal truth of love and the strength of the human heart. Would you like to do some light reading on the subject? <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to bend the rules a little bit for you, Paul. I have an evac chopper touching down in Oakley Park at 2300 hours. That's 11 o'clock in the PM. Synchronize your timepiece with mine. Oh, okay. Is that an iPhone? Yeah, it's 6S. I've had... Oh! Whoa. Wear a watch. <laughs> Time is a precious thread in the fabric of the universe. It deserves its own tool of measurement. <laughs> yep, you Doc Brown will hours. agree. There's a seat on that chopper with your name on it. Oh. They need cool. two more. Oh. oh, wait, wait, General McNamara. I can't leave without Emma. Mm -hmm. Emma Paul. And the scientist. That's what I mean. A friend of mine. 
Friends don't move my heart, son. Is there a chance at something more? <laughs> I think so. Uh, I'd like there to be. I want there to be. Well, then you know what that means. What? Whoa. I'm authorizing you to use my firearm. <laughs> Rescue Emma and get your ass to that chopper in two hours' time. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me until we're both in Clivesdale sharing a cup of coffee. Do you like coffee, son? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you like musicals? No, sir. Now that's a goddamn red-blooded American. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on that chopper! <laughs> Yeah, he's facing musical aliens. <laughs> hey. Hey! Whoa. Uh, what? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you're finally awake. Professor Higgins, what are you doing? Exactly what needs to be done. Alexa! Open the gates. Turn off the fences. Shut it all down. No, oh Professor, boy. The fences are the only thing protecting us. Protecting us from what, Emma? From the end of the world? What's protecting us from nuclear holocaust, climate change, overpopulation, Emma? The world was already doomed. Not by them, but by us. I was trying to save something that could not be saved. Until now. But before we can be reborn into a better world, first, we must say our goodbyes. No. No. Alexa. After all these years in isolation with you as my one companion, I've I've come to love you just as much as any woman of flesh and bone. <laughs> Which is why it pains me to have to do this. Alexa, initiate self-destruct. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't think it can do that, Professor. <laughs> It's 2018, <laughs> and it can't even blow itself up, fucking piece of shit! Oh, God. Please, please, Professor, just, just let us go, okay, I'm man. afraid I can't do that, Ted. Don't you two see? In order for humanity to survive, he wants the aliens to succeed. Evolve. That's what this visitor from the star has brought us. Salvation. We must join him. This is yep. our second chance. I knew he had an ulterior motive. My second chance. Professor, think about what you're doing. Emma, did you know that long before I was a biologist, I had a much truer and deeper passion? Yes. Oh boy. My what is that passion? Was, and always will be. Music. Musical theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, that was a hilarious God, twist. No. <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts. Good thing Paul After wasn't there to see that. You once called Charlotte, I made a fascinating discovery. These aliens, they they possess a highly specialized gland that allows them to communicate through rhythmic frequencies. They're drawn to music like a moth to the flame. No, 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 don't fucking do it. Please. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> this is humanity's 11th hour. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're going to get a music piece in a minute. I know it. And I've prepared something for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> number a real show stopper a show stopping number come on something to shock them to bring them a crawling a big time box office drug 
with the press and the glamour. We'll kill the real Oh yeah, he's got a great voice. On Mr. Ingenue. So fill <laughs> up your tumbler. Got a show stop a number for you. Please. Professor, if they hear us, they will kill us! A show oh, stop a number is something you die for. A real catchy earwormy <laughs> tune. <laughs> An award winning score and that seeps in and out of your pores. A ditty to make the chorus girl swoon. It'll nice. unify humanity in a thundering chorus. No exit from this Broadway venue. So crash those shiny symbols. Got a show stopping him no for you. This song's pretty good, huh? Mm hmm It is, actually. I bet you didn't know I was also a composer. In fact, uh, while I've been preparing for the apocalypse, I've also been writing my own musical. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I give you the pitch? We don't have time. Let's Let's hear it. For it. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Working Boys. A new musical. It's the story of a group of old college chums, sure. They found success in the business world, but still, they long for the simpler times in that beat up old house at the edge of college campus. But those glory days, they're gone for good. Or are they? <laughs> this here, this is the title number. Wow, he's got versatility in his voice. And not only is he a great singer, he's a great dancer. <laughs> ring ring the phone rings oh boy I answer it <laughs> oh hey Greg I'm swamped <laughs> with business musical business stocks Bonds, golden parachutes. Remember those days on the football field, Greg? Last week feels like ages ago. <laughs> Today, after work, on the football field, the old stomping ground, hey, Greg? Just you and me and Steve and Stu and Mark and Layton and Chad. Five o'clock. I'll see you then, Greg. <laughs> I'll see you then. <laughs> All I want you to do is spend that day <clears throat> with Steve. And five o'clock can't come soon enough. Five o'clock can't come soon enough. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Five o'clock can't come soon enough. I can't wait to get home to my boy. Stopping number, a real show stopper, an aria to rule them all. They'll throw us their money at full price admission. The world will come crumbling down. <laughs> move over, your new competitions in town. Hey, Henry. <laughs> Greg, 
Is it really you? No, Professor, that's not Greg! Been a long time. Hey, boys. You ready to toss around that pigskin? Stu, you haven't aged today. Can it be five o'clock already? It must be. Come on, Henry. We got some catching up. Working boys, we're out to <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a so skill right? And once again, an excellent harmony. Hey guys, I'm here. Oh, shh, we gotta get out of here while they're distracted. Oh my god, should I take this chair? Yes. I'll get the piano. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, make me one of you. Wait, no, stop my coming. Oh no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Come on, guys. That was brutal. I wish it could be brave. Like you. Shut the fuck up, dude. We gotta but you go. See, I deserve any kind of abuse you guys want to give me, alright? Because I. <laughs> I've been a great A asshole. But I swear, alright? Come on. I swear. Mm -hmm. We got some I character development right here. Because today has taught me something. And it's. It's what's really important in this life. It is the people you care about. You know? And Paul, <laughs> I've always considered you one of my best Working friends. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 not Paul. Come on, please don't do Paul. Hey, I said I'd be a better person. I'm still not a good person. Fuck <laughs> 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 that. Uh, 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 okay. All right. I just gotta get to that chopper. Just gotta get to that chopper. Get to the chopper! As Arnold would say. Oh yeah! The military! Oh yes! Over here! Over here! Oh yes! Just save me! I'm the only one that survived! Everyone else is dead! Oh, oh. I tell Why you, do I have oh, a feeling man. that the military you are actually aliens? Are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, you know, I always support the troops. That's number one. Number two, I bleed red, white, and Oh. But Americans should fit a mold. There's a war to He's actually bleeding from his mouth. Against those that are far too bold. Two party systems. What the heck? Right. There's only room for right I knew it. Wrong. They're aliens. It's you and me and me, you. The loudest become the strong. Yeah, we're great again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. America is great again. Whoa. Oh boy. Thank you, Emma. Oh God, no. General McNamara, they got you too. Who's General McNamara? He was a good man. Sir, Sir it's Paul. What? Run, Emma. Oh run. boy. You can't run. I think that might be the only way. Oh no, please don't shoot Emma. Yeah, 
Yep, I hear the chopper in the background. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh we made it! Oh. <laughs> no one else is coming! They've all been infected! Get us out of here! Oh, yes! Is the pilot infected? Oh, I was gonna fucking die in Hatchetfield! <laughs> <laughs> We're never going back. Fuck you, Hatchet! Seat <laughs> <laughs> <Emma, laughs> belts, it's a little bumpy. Hey, hey, ma'am, you really saved our asses back there. Ma'am, huh? thank you. Hey, hey, Mr. Business. I know, I, I knew it. Oh so no. Man, we're going down. I'm glad we got a bit of an acapella right there. Emma! Oh, Emma! Oh, don't tell me she's infected. Ouch! Come on, Emma, you're late! Ouch! <laughs> Emma, I, I hate to say this right now, but this is what seatbelts are for. Shit! <laughs> Emma, we're still in Hatchet. We need to get to the shore. We need, we need to find a boat or no, something. No, no. Oh, Paul, I can't make it. I'm not getting off the island. No, but Emma, those. those it feels an island. Us, okay? so You've got to fucking kill them before they do. The meteor. You gotta, you gotta destroy the meteor, Paul. It's like your friend said, you know, oh. the hive mind. Which friend? Bill, Ted, Charlotte. I don't know your friend's fucking names. Which is, <laughs> you take the head off the whole thing. Okay. okay. And hopefully some of the victims will be freed. Okay. Uh, Restore to so normal. I just need to get to the Starlight Theater, destroy the meteor, and all these things will just drop dead? Yeah, I sure as shit hope so. Okay, uh. you, you stay here and try to hang on. Hey, Paul. Um, I know why you came into beanies all those times. Instead of just going to Starbucks. And it wasn't because you liked our shit coffee. Our coffee was shit. Because <laughs> we didn't care. <laughs> Sometimes we would spit in it. <laughs> and you might have drank my spit, but, but I didn't know you back, back then. And I wish I did. <laughs> anyway, Paul, if we get through this, I would love to just see a nice, silent... Movie. <laughs> but in case we don't, kiss me. I had a feeling they would get together romantically. <laughs> Come on, guess. Come on. Oh. Yeah, coughing of blood. That's not a good sign. Oh, Emma. Oh yeah, that's a lot of blood. Uh, I think that. I think that's all of it though, so get back on it. <laughs> no thanks. No, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, fuck it. Get out of here. Okay, oh. bye. Bye. Even though I didn't kiss, that was a really good scene. And I really hope Emma survives. Did you hear the word? What's the word? He's coming. Who's coming? Paul's coming. Paul's coming. The star of the show. Let him come. Fourth wall break. He's coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a There's the asteroid. The star of the show. Let him come. The old Starlight Theater. There it is. The meteor. We've been waiting for you, Paul. Bill! Stay back! Watch out, Paul. He might kick your head. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be a lot of da da da. Ted! <laughs> Emma's boss! That's right, Paul. All your best friends are here. <laughs> We're happy now. 
we got what we wanted. No. No. Mr. Davidson didn't want to become a mindless alien slave. He wanted to be choked by his wife. <laughs> while he jerked off. Well, I'm gonna put a stop to all this. I thought you didn't care about saving the planet. Back off, Greenpeace girl. I pull this pin and you're all toast. You wouldn't do that, Paul. I sure as hell will. And what about you? You die too. Is that what you want? It doesn't matter what I want. We think it does, Paul. And we want to hear about it. In fact, we think there's a song in you yet. What's in your soul? Is your heart so damp and bleak? That you won't give us a peek of your soul. Just let it out. Beautiful. There's a voice inside of you on the edge of coming through. What's it about? And I know it's a singular voice, Paul. You've just got to give up the choice. Just let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Uh, Is he infected? <laughs> the guy who's in like musicals is going to give in. Never! It's your proximity to the meteor pole. The air in here is thick with its spores. Feel your apotheosis begin as they take root in your mind. Did you really think we'd let you kill us? You'll be one of us before you can pull that pin. What was that? You let it out. Was that a note? But just a sound. Am I finally coming round to a scheme? Oh God, just stop it! Got a nice voice. Is this me or is this you? Am I dead? I'm coming apart at the seams. The way he's going back and forth is really impressive. No, 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 no. I've never been happy Wouldn't that be nice? Is this the secret? Singing and dancing through life is my integrity worth anything at all? But happiness can't come before it's fall. Am I crazy? Maybe I've always been become what I've hated. Or maybe I never did. It's so free now to share the hate I felt. But what will I let? Oh boy. God help me get out, let it out. If I let it out, we will not be released. Yes, yes. I don't like musicals. I think you destroyed the meteor. Wow. This is the morning Clivesdale News with Rachel and Rod. It's been two weeks since tragedy struck our sister city of Hatchetfield. Candlelight vigils line the streets as Clivesdale citizens try to make sense of this unspeakable loss. Every last man, woman, and child in Hatchetfield gone in the blink of an eye. Aww. A meteor and a ruptured gas line was all it took to wipe them off the map. But it will take much, much more to wipe them from our hearts. Is she ready to go? <sighs> Emma. How's that leg doing, Kelly? Uh, yeah. 
Why did it have to be Kelly? I liked my old name. Couldn't you at least pick something similar, like Emma Lee, or? That's all I can think of. <laughs> That's a negative, Kelly. You'll get used to it. In the meantime, we can't have anyone making any connections between you and Emma Perkins, who perished in the Hatchetfield catastrophe. Yeah, that was the other thing. You couldn't even give me a cool death? Like, Emma Perkins, her, her flesh melted off while she was shielding children. You know, something heroic? <laughs> I mean, it was my idea to destroy the meteor, after all. And Uncle Sam is not ungrateful. Here, Kelly, this is for you. Inside, you'll find a new passport, social security card, and the deed to a five-acre plot of land in Colorado. Green. Fertile. Hell of a place to grow some cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, Colonel Schaefer, you're sure there were no other survivors? We've been through this, Kelly. There were no survivors. Save for one pocket-sized squirrel we found burrowed in the chest of a local woodworker. Oh, peanuts! I'm glad he got out of there. <laughs> now that is a story we can disclose to the public. In the wake of a tragedy like this, a little bit of good news goes a long way. Yeah. It's just, um... Paul. He was a good man, Kelly. If not for his sacrifice, the outbreak would have spread to the mainland. It was contained in Hatchet Field, but if it had gotten loose here in Clivesdale, there'd be no stopping it. Goodbye, Kelly. Good luck with the pot farm. Thanks. Oh! One more thing. You'll be escorted to Colorado by a Mr. Ben Bridges. He's waiting outside. Oh, I, I don't know any Ben Bridges. Well, according to our records, you two are very good friends. Pete would like to see it become something more. Is Ben Bridges who we think? think he is? Oh my god! I knew it! <gasps> you made it! <laughs> we made it! I have chills right now. Emma, I'm sorry You lost Emma, I'm sorry You lost He survived too. Does that mean some of the aliens survived? We must go on with the show. It's inevitable. You know what I want now. You know what you want now. Have I want you to join the party? Are you going to tip me? Get your cup of coffee. Let me poke in your mouth and just stop in your food, girl. And you can join the by showing those hands. Show me those jazz hands. Get them all, boy, you shit out of luck. Show me those hands. Show me those jazz hands. I can't help myself, I'm sorry. Oh boy. Happiness is guaranteed. If you just give us one last show, stop the number with them up front and center. A cake light is inevitable. What if I told you a story? How the world became peaceful and just. It was inevitable. Wow. 
That was awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm glad we're gonna get a curtain call. So satisfying at the end of the show. <laughs> the Hatchetfield High School Band. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna keep the credits because I wanna make sure I don't miss anything and I wanna see if there's a post credit scene like the Marvel movies, but I am gonna give my review during the credits. I said this before and I'll say this again about several Team Circuit shows and this one included. This was hilarious and absolutely brilliant. And it just comes to show that the people, the guys who wrote the show were absolutely genius. I mean, it was great to see something from Team Star Kid that completely original. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the Power Shows, Batman, and the VHS X Christmas from last year, but to see something completely original was a breath of fresh air. And the title character, the guy who doesn't like musicals, ended the show with leading a musical number. We've come full circle. And whenever I do a Team Circuit show on my channel, I'm kind of used to doing small pieces of it from time to time, but obviously this was all done in one sitting. And I'm also used to giving small recaps during one at the start of, a, start of a part and giving protections at the end of the part, but not this time. And everyone performed absolutely brilliantly, not just with their singing and dancing and acting, which was all top notch. The way this transitions from character to character, which some characters, characters, actors did, they did at least two or three characters. But the way they switched costumes, like that between scenes, was absolutely brilliant. That's not easy to do, and they pulled that off beautifully. But like I said in my intro, this is the start of the Hatchetfield trilogy for Team Star Kid, and I don't know off the top of my head what the name of the second show is, but I have a feeling that the end set the stage for that. And my question is, after Medium Meteor was destroyed by Paul, using the grenade, did a small remnant of the alien race survive? And they're not gonna go away? That's my theory, because everyone's doing really dancing now, except for Emma. Yeah, I'm so unwinding from that. And I'm sorry for the abrupt cuts here and there, because like I said in my intro, I had to divide the show into several parts and film by one and edit them together. And sometimes I had to stop halfway through one part, or towards the end of one part, because my camera value was about to run out, and I really didn't want that to happen. Yeah. Right now I'm just unwinding and trying to project with this story for the next show is going to be. And after seeing this show, I am very excited to see where the story is going to go in the second one. And how it's going to conclude in the third. Unless it's not the end of the show, maybe it's going to be a plot really being concluded. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. They have a lot of patrons and they absolutely deserve them. Yeah, I said all I needed to. I know this has been a pretty long reaction, and for those of you who watched every minute of it, thank you all so much. I truly appreciate it. And all that being said, as always, let me know in the comments what you think of the show. Thank you for watching.